when we release the brake pedal, the brakes won't drag and wear the pads excessively. The vehicle will freewheel nice and easy, and we'll get maximum life out of our brake pads. Until next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 90. Our motoring tip of the week concerns brake squeal, and it comes from one of our Facebook followers, uh, Brandon Boven. I'm, I'm using Brad's uh, smartphone here, and Brandon says he's changed the brakes and calipers on his wife's older Mercedes, and he's got a squeal worse than before, even with his new parts. So we asked him if the parts were genuine Mercedes or aftermarket. Brandon answered us, he said aftermarket. Here's the deal. Genuine parts, definitely more money. You pay a lot more at the dealer, but there's lots of times over the years when I've done brake jobs on customers' cars and had to redo them and put genuine parts on to get rid of the squeal. Have to bite the bullet, pay the difference up to the dealer parts. We'd credit the guy for the ones we put on before, but there's just no way to get around it in many cases, no matter how well you did the job from a labor standpoint and an installation standpoint, genuine pads have much greater attention paid to detail in terms of noise attenuation. And it usually amounts to a vinyl clad strip on the back of the pads. Some guys refer to it as a shim or an insulator, but the dealer pads, the genuine pads, no matter what your manufacturer is, have greater attention to detail in this area and they cost more money. And sometimes that's the only way to get around it. So I'm sorry, Brandon, I'm sure you probably did a good job and you were careful installing them, but you may have to go to Mercedes and pay the higher price to get the genuine pads and that'll probably get rid of your brake squeal. That's your motoring tip of the week.